Hello everyone! Today I want to talk about embroidery on hands and not on special devices and why I choose this method. Whether to embroider on a hoop or fix the fabric in some other way is uh, up to everyone to decide for themselves, for sure. I can only convey to you my personal experience, which I generously share, and I can show you how I capture the canvas and why hoops are unacceptable for me. You, in your own turn, can embroider as you feel comfortable, and that's exactly what you should do, because embroidery is pleasure, first, first of all. By the way, uh, these are some uh, non-standard pieces, as you can see. Mm, I'm now doing uh, embroidery for a separate uh, utilitarian applique. And as you can see, it's a triangle in shape. Mm, this is not a cycle or a square. And a non-trivial medium size with uh, thin corners. Uh, so, uh, capturing it uh, in a hoop will be quite unpleasant for me. Uh, there will be deformation. Uh, you will need to grab long uh, crosses and embroidery using the double cross uh, technique, as you very well know. It's very dense. Mm, besides the fact that I embroider on thick uh, 11 count canvas, thick uh, pure cotton, and on the top of that uh, is uh, embroidery itself. In this case, I embroider with uh, four threads, but I use a standard uh, DMC uh, Moulinet six uh, stand floss thread. But for this project, to make it a little bit thinner, I use four strand, and usually I will, I have six and sometimes even eight. And this, of course, is a very dense texture and it's uh, uncomfortable for me to put it uh, all through the hoop. I shall be very sad if, due to deformation, my embroidery will be damaged. The threads will be pulled out or something like that. The embroidery itself is uh, beautiful and uh, delicate uh, to the touch and I want to preserve this feeling for the owner of a product. And plus, I like the idea of uh, pumping up the hands, uh, revitalizing the hands, uh, training uh, flexibility and um, pumping up uh, from the sensitivity of the fingers to the strength and beauty of the hands. If you're embroidering somewhere in the middle, uh, then you can grab the nearest inch of the canvas or gather the canvas as it's convenient for you and do your standard stitches uh, as much as you prepare it. Um, like I'm doing right now. So you see, uh, I run out of uh, thread here, so I will show you how to complete and cross using a crochet hook. Let's bring the thread here. Yes, like this. To the back side, completing the cross. You see, I'm like working from both sides using my both hands. A little bit in front of, yes, and you need to hide this thread for completing cross. So <laughs> right now it's ready. 
You know, even all this manipulation with uh, how to embroider with a uh, short thread and secure it at the end. If there uh, a hoop, it would be um, inconvenient for me. For me. <laughs> Always, if you like uh, to hold embroidery um, in a hoop and uh, have good in the hang of uh, working this way, then it's uh, likely what you don't experience any discomfort about this, I think. Speaking about uh, the wrong side of its uh, technique of uh, embroidery, um, embroidered by double cross uh, stitching, well, I don't uh, particularly care about this beauty, especially if we are talking about the uh, utilitarian product. Um, the probability what uh, thread will unravel is zero, just zero. It turns out a neat uh, wrong side, but without uh, kind of uh, perfectionism, what I used to suffer from. But now I take it much more simply. Uh, this technique is uh, not necessary. And um, another point uh, why using a hoop uh, can be inconvenient, uh, this is if um, the embroidery mirrored or repeated element, like I'm showing you right now, at the same time. Uh, therefore, I will need to constantly come up with a design right now, so I jump uh, from piece to piece and within one design as well. I always work on different um, frequent canvases. Uh, I don't embroider in layers according to a pattern because I create the design right while embroidering. If you embroider according to my patterns, then of course you can use a hoop for sure. This is a different process uh, technically. Uh, up, down, right, left, mm, but I'm figuring out as I go um, how I'm going to arrange with colors, what colors I'm going to jump for a while embroidering in different embroidery patterns. Uh, um, so sometimes uh, it's creativity, you know, it's uh, like infinite uh, process and you, you never know when it ends down. So sometimes I can add other stitches um, in addition to the double cross if required. Like for example here, you see for perfect diagonal line to, to be well stitched with uh, future fabric because it's, uh, it, it will be an applique uh, on clothing, for clothes. I added here, of course, uh, usual simple cross stitch, but sometimes it's not necessary. It's always, uh, you know, like I'm starting uh, sometimes from borders, uh, starting from inside side, so it's always jumping. And in this case, uh, uh, you can understand what holding uh, even several hoops for me will be um, inconvenient. So it's not really pleasant and that's why I'm using uh, embroidery on hands. I had experience working with hoops and I know perfectly well what I'm talking about. I also have experience in embroidery and other techniques and know where hoops are needed and where it's better to discard them. Everything is achieved through experience and of course uh, this is how you also form your preferences in the process of embroidery. I embroidered before like a century ago using patterns and on fabrics and using different uh, techniques. So write please in the comments how do you feel about embroidery on the hoop, uh, how do you embroider, how you embroider it uh, without a hoop on your hands. For example, it's um, very convenient for me. Uh, you can grab it like this, or um, if necessary, um, throw it to opposite side where to grip it uh, closer. 
uh, the main things here what I want to show you right now a little bit closer is not to lose uh, direction the level of uh, cross stitch and double cross stitch is not uh, exception here maintaining the direction all stitches should point in the same direction maintain direction is very very important as you can see here all the final stitches uh, point in the same direction it's uh, everywhere during all embroidery um, this direction should uh, not be lost let's say we can keep the piece uh, here and embroider on this side in order not to twist the canvas and wrinkle it, um, we will simply turn it over and embroider here. And for this piece, we will turn it over and embroider here. So everything is very simple and I find it uh, much more convenient this way. It's hard for me to hold the hoop in my hands. Uh, it's uh, uncomfortable to sit at a special installation. My body and arms are already too tired to hold uh, anything else. Uh, I love the uh, free position and freedom of movement while embroidering, so I will be very glad to read your comments and uh, find out uh, how you look at this question and uh, how you like to embroider and what you're currently embroidering um, right now and, and uh, what technique. So for me, interesting everything about you. So. It's uh, absolutely sincere and absolutely reciprocal uh, uh, communication between uh, me and you. So I'm very glad that uh, you spent uh, a little time with me right now and uh, I will be awaiting your comments and I will be here for you and uh, later. Bye.